<clears throat> so we're here with Bronis. Hello, everyone. Happy to be here. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for coming. Sure. Um, and uh, we're we're going to be making hand sanitizer mm -hmm. that is um, could be approved by the CDC. Mm -hmm. Their recommendations is that you have a 60% uh, alcohol mm -hmm. in your hand sanitizer. Um, or any sanitizer and we're going to start with this product here. This is called Everclear Okay, and if anybody uh, was in a fraternity in college, they might be familiar with this It's also known as green alcohol Learning something new. Okay, <laughs> and it is uh, <laughs> 190 proof So most alcohol that we drink mm -hmm. is 80 proof. Yeah strong vodka is 80 proof yeah. um, so if you have something like this at home is 80 proof which is also 40 percent right alcohol. that's not good no good so we, no bueno not for this purpose. no 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 gotcha you can drink it but you can't use it for hand sanitizer i'm gotcha. sorry folks. makes sense that's yeah. the main ingredient <laughs> that's the thing yes. so um so Gross. Okay, so where we are, are going to start, I like to make my hand sanitizers in these beautiful, very cute little misters. Yes. I also have for sale on my website. Old school. It's, and I it's love fun. It. Lovely. <laughs> Get them. And you're going to be making yours in this bottle here. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to use, you've used a kitchen scale, right? Yeah. Okay. We're going to get them in uh, milligrams. Uh, yeah, I always use the yeah, metric system metrics. because it makes life easier. Yes, especially for me. Oh, yeah, so much More easier. accurate as well. Yes. Okay, so we are going to tear or zero out our scale here. One fourteen. Okay, so just press the zero button. Zero. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we know that's a zero, and I'm gonna hand this to you because you're gonna have to do a little bit of math. <laughs> okay, so that's at zero. Um, it is now. Okay, now take yep. that off. Mm -hmm. Now I just filled this one up with water. One twenty-three. Okay, we're gonna multiply that. I already did all this math for you because this alcohol is actually ninety-five percent. We're gonna multiply that times 0. 0.7. So can you do that now? 123.7? 123 times 0. 0.7. 1.7? 0. 0.7. 0. 0.7. So 70%. And that gives us, that'll bring us to about 65% alcohol. Yep. 86.1. So you want 86.1 mils or grams. Gotcha. Of Everclear. Okay. So then zero that out. The, um, we're just going to weigh it. Gotcha. I'm Always use that. weights, never measures. Okay. Always use weights, never measures. 86.1. You know what? The margin of error is within 10%. 85, 86, 82. You're all right. Never drink this because it'll burn the crap out of your throat. Noted. Thank you. I have 88. That That's fine. fine. We're fine with that. Drink some. Okay. And what was our final number? 123 for 123. For this. Okay. Yes. All right. So that means we have, we can, what's um, 88 minus 123? Because I, I can't do math. 88 minus 123. It's a minus. So we don't know the one thing. Or one, well, the difference is 35, so we're fine. Okay. <laughs> backwards, a little bit backwards, but okay. <laughs> math is math. Math is math. Numbers are numbers. God, they don't like Are you centered? Are you okay? Oh, that math. Are you? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm sorry about the math. No, no, it's I good. have. I have. I. I'm. Kind, did you see the movie Hedwig in the Angry Inch? It's about this person who was in East Berlin who had a box botch sex change so that they can marry a soldier and be brought to West Berlin and the day that this person had the operation that did not go well the wall came down <laughs> got complicated so she yeah, was quick, quick. brought to the US became a housefrau of sorts yeah 
and became a very angry musician who sings in uh, fish and chip shops all over the country. Oh, it's a great musical. Oh, so I'm sweet. like he Hedwig. I don't have an angry inch. I have an angry 12 credits that I did not finish my degree in chemistry. Gotcha. But I have 120. So I what am I going to get then. a job? <laughs> I don't need it. You don't need I'm it? I'm good. Okay. I don't want to be a chemist. I mean, I could be a chemist. I, I'm going to be a chemist. Okay, so we have, what was it, 35? 35. 35. Okay. So now we can do 35 grams yes. of something we love. Mm. Mm. No, we already did that. Yeah. You know, and a fun fact, most, all, actually all grain spirits, vodka, mm -hmm. all start out as this, and then they add water to bring it to 80 proof. Okay. So all that you're paying for is the fancy label mm -hmm. and water, and if you buy this, you can bring it to 80 proof yeah. and make your own vodka. Yeah. You can That's also... That's a business idea right there. You could. Or you, I, what I like to do with this is I put Earl Grey tea. Mm -hmm. in it and I dilute it with water and I make Earl Grey vodka. It's wonderful. On ice in the summer. Mm. I can't do that Earl Grey. Not this right. <laughs> but you can use okay. it to make tinctures. Yeah, yeah. You can it. use it for all sorts yeah, of things. Yeah. So I so what do you have here? So we have aqua de rosa. Oh can I smell that? Yes. So we have rose water. So it's a concentrated as well or no? Yeah. Oh, yeah, beautiful, right? And drink. You can drink rose water. Oh, this is just like yeah. a little bourbon. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about this particular one. I don't know. My oh, I picked that up at the drugstore, but I do have this one. Let's see. Oh, this is my secret stash. Mm hmm. Oh, and this one I keep in the fridge. Good to know. When I That's have cool. those phone calls. Let's take off. <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah, this would be my first choice. Yeah. It's really lovely. So this one yeah. has purified yeah. water and hydro essential rose. So you, <sighs> this is pot this is drinkable. Roses is, is safe. Or you can make your own, I'm sure. Or you can make your own. Next one. Okay, next one. Yeah. All right. All right. And then this one I love. Oh, oh that's a, a good hair thing. It reminds me of old ladies. Mm. Is that good? In a good way. Oh. Orange flower. Orange flower. Which a was song? a popular base in a lot of old lady perfumes. Ah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you get the That's old lady nice. vibe yeah. from there? Yeah. Let's stick with the rose. Oh, yeah. you don't like old ladies. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> no, it's good. It's just, it doesn't evoke any like special. Okay. No, it's an ingredient that you could use if you want it to. Mm -hmm. um, to have it more of a jelly is this aloe vera jelly, but I have noticed a shortage of this. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to get, and yeah, every store is sold true. out. Yeah. So there's that. Mm -hmm. um, or you could use the liquid aloe vera. Mm -hmm. But it's more of a texture, right? Not so much the smell, because this is really this yummy. Is, this is a yummy smell. This is adds a little, you know, moisturizing because right. we're working with yes. all this acid, or all this um, alcohol. Yes. It's very drying. Yeah. So if we're constantly spraying ourselves it's all the time, to add back some moisture. Yeah. So yeah, add mm -hmm. back some moisture, and then the other thing that I like to add to it is about maybe ten mils. Yeah. Of this. Yeah. With stuff. Which my hair. you don't want too much because if you're spraying objects or things, you don't want them to have oily mm -hmm. film on it. So I get it depends on the usage. If you use it for your hands, you can yeah. use it for oil. If it's yeah. more of a surface. I thing. literally I keep this by my front door and guests who come in I ask them to kindly nice. sanitize their hands. It. Yeah. And it and it smells great. Mm -hmm. And I start it because I love talking to people and everybody's freaking out right now, but I started just carrying it with me and offering it to people. Yeah, nobody says no. No. no, and then it smells like roses. I use rose water in mine. It smells like roses. Yeah. So, so what's your poison? You want to try this and some oil. Okay. We're not talking about these just yet. These are some those, essential oils. Those essential oils you're probably going to want to do max ten drops, mm -hmm. and it's really your preference. Any specific order, or we're just kind of. You want to get the volume of the liquid up to 35. 
So if you want to use all straight rose water, if you want to use a combination of aloe and rose so water. So I'm doing the zero thing, right? It has to show zero yeah. with less liquids and then... Unless you're really good at math. Um, so 35 total, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going with this, let's say... Oh, it's a pretty color. Yeah. And with this. This one, it might be easier just to open it and use a pipette. And we want to do 10. Oh, what is it? Is that okay? Yeah. Good? Yeah. That's fine. And a couple of drops of tea tree oil. Yeah, so no more than 10 drops. Of this essential oils, yeah. So I have tea tree, I have peppermint, and I have lavender. So mm -hmm. you can use any essential oils. The one that you don't want to use, mm -hmm. bergamot. Do not. Do not use bergamot. Bergamot causes people's skin to be photosensitive. And if you mm. spray it on your skin and you're like me or you, yeah. when you go into the sun, you'll get a sunburn. Let's stay away from that. Yep. All it right. smells great, but no, no, for skin care. Okay, a couple of drops of this. Lavender. Love it. Um, well, I think I'm good. Or should I add a little bit of this? The aloe, how much yeah. do you have left? I have 37 already. Oh, nope, you used your allotment. <laughs> well, next time... <laughs> So I'll be more careful when you want to put it in. That's into, it? That's it? Good to go? Yeah, it's so easy. Wow. You could just make I don't mix it, right? You just put it in? Yeah, yeah, and then shake the bottle. Like, don't be crazy. I mean, not that you're crazy, but. And how fun is this? You can make it for gifts for people. You can bring yeah. it to your kids' teachers. If you're with kids, we say, okay, it doesn't say so. Just yeah, not a batch. And I get to keep it. And you get to keep it. So exciting. And you make nice label. Mm -hmm. Different flavor. And then shake it. Pretty strong though, yeah. You can Good. smell the rose. Yeah. Let me try yours. Oh, it smells nice. And it yeah. dries, the alcohol dissipates pretty quickly. And it feels good mm. in the hand. Yeah, it yeah. it's not drying the at all. The oil kicks in just the right you know, amount. I like it. Well, well, thank you so and that much. is how you make hand sanitizer at home. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome.